Lesson number one, catch and release. Now in fly fishing, what we typically do is we catch the fish and then we release the fish. Any questions so far? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? I know it's a tough thing to sort of wrap your mind around, Aaron, but let me explain it like this. We catch the fish and then we let the fish go. Into a cooler? No, 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 uh -uh, no, back into the water. On a stringer? No, no, it's like this. You catch the fish, right, and then you carefully remove the fly from the fish's mouth, get a quick picture of yourself with it, and then you let the fish go back into the river. Well, then how the hell you eat them? We don't eat them. You don't eat them, you just, you let them go. Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, so that, you know, you can come back maybe the next day and catch the fish again, or maybe you come back next week and catch the fish again, or that maybe gives somebody else a chance to come back and catch that fish. So, you catch the same fish over and over again? Yeah. So you're just into torturing fish? Is that it? No! God, no! You feel like a big man torturing fish? No, it's not about torturing fish. It's about letting the fish live, right? So it can have a nice, healthy, happy life and get bigger. Oh, fattening them up. Oh, you keep them when they're big and fat. It's better eating. No, we don't even keep them when they're big. Why the hell would you catch a fish and not keep it? Because fly fishing is all about getting out here and enjoying yourself. All right? It's about the nature and surrounding yourself, and it calms the nerves, Kevin. You know what calms my nerves? Barbecuing fish. Smashing a fish on a rock. Eating eyeballs.